What up, Toconners? The global data download that dropped last night gives us exactly the time that the banners are going to be dropping. Banner. That's going to be dropping for the Resurrection F. We also have some interesting items. We've got a ticket and a numbered ticket. So we'll discuss that in just a bit. But first, let's start with the timing of the banner. When is the banner going to be releasing for Global Dokkan? Well, according to the new Dokkan Wiki, you have multiple ways to find out, by the way. The new Dokkan Wiki shows you the exact time that it's going to be releasing in your time zone. So for me, it's going to be dropping November 3rd at 11.30 p.m. PDT, which is tonight. What time does that mean for you? So like I said, you could use the new Dokkan Wiki. You could use the regular Dokkan Wiki, which gives you the exact countdown. So even gives you the countdown so that you can time it out. You can set your alarms, whatever, so that you guys can join the live stream and watch me summon, because I don't think there's going to be too many of you that are going to be summoning on this banner. So there you have it. That is the countdown. But now we're just going to do our usual dateful.com shout out. So if you guys want to just type in your own time zone and find out, you can. You don't have to, but you can. And uh, obviously, this serves no purpose other than simply shouting out all my international tunes out there. So that's all my tunes everywhere. So I decided this time I'm going to use a map so I can at least see some countries that I never, ever, ever shout out. All right. So we're going to start with some of the regions on the western side. Uh, let's do Cuba. I don't think I've ever shouted out Cuba. So 1130 p.m. PDT for me. What time does that mean for those in Cuba? It will be 2.30 a.m. November 4th, 2022. If you live in Suriname, is that how you say that? Suriname? Suriname. What? Okay. It'll be 3.30 a.m. November 4th, 2022. Let's go across the pond here. Uh, if you live in Senegal, actually, I have a buddy who's from there. Senegal, you will have to wake up at 6.30 a.m. November 4th, 2022. Oh, boy. 6.30 a.m. for the Resurrection Fs. Is that worth it? I don't know. Uh, if you live in Algeria, oops. If you live in Algeria, it'll be 7.30 a.m. November 4th, 2022. If you live in Bulgaria, it will be... It will be 8.30 a.m. November. It's so much easier looking at a map. I don't know any of these countries. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you live in Turkey, it will be 9.30 a.m. November 4th, 2022. If you live in... Kyr Kyrgyzstan? I was even close. You live in Kyrgyzstan. It will be 12.30 p.m. November 4th, 2022. How would it be later in there, but India is at its noon? What? Okay. Because India is high noon. I always know that. It always drops at high noon for India, so that's, that's very unusual. All right, a couple more. If you live in Laos, if you live in Laos, it will be 1.30 p.m. November 4th, 2022. And if you live in Malaysia, okay? If you live in Malaysia, It'll be 2.30 p.m. November 4th, 2022. So, dateful.com. You can type in your own country and, uh, you know, see what time it is for you. Shout out to all the tunes everywhere. Uh, thought I could shout out a few more countries I've never really shouted out before. So, anyway, that being said, let's take a look at the data download. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG for all things data download information. Follow him on Twitter at Proton10MG. Okay, thank you. Follow me too, by the way. Link is in the description. <laughs> all right, so uh, here we've got the Super Strike. We, we'll just read it right here. New promo movie. Oh, that's what this is. I thought this was like a wallpaper. New promo movie. We got the blue Goku Vegeta, AGL Jocko. He is not me. Okay. Awakening and EZA for Super Strike Physical King Cold. We got the EZA for Tech LR Ginyu Goku. New quest area 28. So I didn't make a video on this, but I did post something on the community tab talking about that. We'll, we'll talk about it again in this video. New story and challenge events. So that's going to be interesting. Um, new story though. Are you actually getting a new story? I don't think we are. And tickets. So we'll, we'll start with the tickets. So we've got two things here. We've got a premium ticket and what looks like a numbered ticket. Now, right off the bat, let me just say, this is not a ticket, this is a card. So this is a free gift card that is going to be given to us that we can redeem for some sort of a reward that we can find out about later. So this is not a second Dokkan Festival ticket item that you can extract from the Pilaf's Trove. It is simply a free, to or a free item that they're gonna be giving to us. The premium ticket is the one that will be from the Pilaf's Trove. Now, the fact that it says premium, the first thing that I thought of was they're probably going to include some sort of an extra value, extra incentive in there, because that's typically what they do with the premium tickets. So it's not confirmed, but I'm pretty sure with these sorts of tickets, we will be getting some sort of either like a GSSR mechanic or maybe some special 20 unit multi, 30 unit multi, because they've done things like that in the past. So this could be their attempt to extract some money out of you for this particular banner because I think they realize a lot of people are going to be skipping 
So if they're going to be skipping the banner, then there's no way of getting money from them. So in the interest of taking your money, if they add some sort of a special way to summon using these tickets, you can pay while not burning your dragon stones and still get to summon. So we'll see if this is a trove or a scam. I, I have a feeling it'll probably end up being a trove, but you know, scam in the sense that they're making you pay for it. So uh, for those of you, again, like the five of you who are planning on summoning, uh, I would exercise caution. Let's see what the ticket price looks like first. Uh, before you even consider doing that but that's pretty much it for this day download everything that we expected is coming but now let's just talk about the quest stage so for oh wait actually let's just also do a brief run through of the missions so they showed this the super training super intensive training massive growth uh, over the next few weeks there's going to be a lot of these missions that can give you a bunch of different rewards i don't particularly know what this is in response to like what this is for specifically but we're getting one every single week from this first week which is right here so november 5th until the 11th you get these missions and then again from the 12th to the 18th same missions again 19th to 25th same missions and so on and so forth i don't know exactly what this is for so that is interesting which means uh you're getting more cool rewards make sure you guys are paying attention playing the game uh part one rewards or missions are right here We've got the extreme challenge campaign for the step two of the Vegito Blue EZA. The most unnecessarily prolonged process. I know it's very annoying. It's just the way it is. JP had it separated by weeks. Apparently Global will have it separated by celebrations. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we've got the missions for the Extremes Awakening for the Ginyu Goku. Then we got more rewards for Super Strike and all that good stuff. So uh, now let's talk about the quest stage. So we were given the next two areas in the quest, area 28. So we were given stage four and we were given stage five stage four is effectively irrelevant because it's just a huge honestly scam because you are starting out here let me actually pull up this image separately so this right here is your starting point there's this cloud that has a chance of giving you the uh the full back row of question mark panels and it's not like you i don't even know what the rate is it's not going to be very consistent if at all in my seven or eight attempts i didn't get it once on the highest difficulty you either go to the left or you go to the right straight to the finish line even if you do get this it's not worth the however many runs it's going to take to get it even once so this is not really something that seems worth it so i would advise against trying to farm this out to get those blue incredible gems i believe every single one of these question mark panels are blue incredible gems but you will always get rolls between one and two so if you end up getting all twos then even if you do get this you're going to skip half of them which kind of stinks so I would just stay away from this. Just run through it once, get your dragon stones and get out. And then for stage five, we've got a left way and we've got a right way. So let me pull this up. If you choose the super difficulty, which you should, the higher the difficulty, the higher the chance of you getting the skill orb to drop, you would go to the, the left side. And then if you pick Z hard or hard, you would go to the right. There's, there, there's no advantage or disadvantage to going either way. The only thing, like I said, is the higher difficulty that you are, the more likely you will get those skill orbs. In my attempts recently, I, I I don't want to mislead you, but I'm just telling you honestly, in about 10 runs, I got three skill orbs in about 10 runs, which is crazy because that is not normally what the drop rate is. It is abysmally low. So if you guys are trying to do this, just keep in mind, it is going to be a very low drop chance. However, if you do, the chance of you getting a level five additional are extremely high because if we take a look at the possible orbs that you can get, Level five additional, 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 level five additional. It just keeps going. The only level fives that aren't additionals would be defense and attack plus five, critical plus five, dodge plus five, and then the rest of them plus five. So you are going to have a really good chance at getting additionals if you want them. And you could also go for the combo ones, additional and critical, additional and defense up. But generally speaking, I would advise for you guys to go for either this one, just a regular additional plus five, or even a defense plus five. A defense plus five on the silver is pretty good. Defense plus 1,000. And that will go a long way, especially when you're stacking that Vegito over a long period of time. And then best case scenario, you get additional plus five and defense plus one. But which one is more worth it to you? The stat raise from the get-go or the extra additional? So it's all up to you. I am still in the process of farming these out. I have a couple of the additional plus fives. I do not yet have this one. So I'm gonna be farming this one out. Hopefully I can get it soon. But the, uh, the drops are pretty decent. So if you are ready to put yourself through that grueling grind, you might get rewarded, but it all depends on your luck. So there you have it. That is how the breakdown works for the quest stage. It costs you 225 blue gems to buy the next batch of gems. 15 or 15 medals, I mean. 
to buy the next 15 medals to get that second step of the extremes the awakening you need 225 blue gems which is why still the 28-2 is the best place to auto farm your blue incredible gems just so you don't have to sit there and manually go through it yourself but there you have it folks that is the entire data download once again i will be summoning for these units tonight so make sure you guys are subscribed notification bells are turned to all so that you don't miss the action because i will do the summoning for you folks you don't have to summon i will do it and this is not me he's got a blue face look man it's not even a connected visor that's not me all right we're done here guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know in the comments are you excited for the resurrection f units are you excited for the lr tech ginyu goku eza which part of this data download has you the most hyped and have you been working on the lr vegeto blue grind if so have you already completed the second step of the extremes the awakening let me know in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know you want to see more of my stuff do it thanks again stay tuned and i'm to dokkan responsibly